Hey guys, welcome back with another review. I am specifically doing the Pacifica Eye Bright Eye Mask. Um, this is the under eye vitamin C spot serum mask with vitamin C and kelp, and the bi um biocellulose <laughs> patches. Um, spot serum spot vitamin C algae marine plus patches the biocellulose. Um. This is supposed to support and brighten up those um, spot serum masks are great boost for precious skin under the eyes. Key ingredients, vitamin C, um, vitamin C, I feel like I'm not, I can't even talk right now. C, kelp, and biocellulose extract. Um, you should be washing your face before doing it. Um, and then leave it for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove mask and disregard and uh, discard. I don't know why I said disregard, but and discard. No need to rinse your face. Gently pat moving serum on the target under eye area. Um, it comes under the, in these, and these are how it looks like. Um, the feeling and how it looks like reminds me of those masks that you put next to your bathtub. Um, kind of like that, honestly. Now, um, I did put it on for 20 minutes. It does have some nice feeling to it. Um, I think the only issue that arises is that my skin is getting way more sensitive. I don't know what it is, but last year, December, January, my skin got sen skin got sensitive, and then I started using bio oil, and my skin kind of stayed good. Um, I was using product throughout the year nothing too crazy i was just trying to make sure to stay away from hyaluronic acid um generally on extremely rare occasions i will use it um but now i feel like my skin has gotten a lot more sensitive and is not reacting as great to a lot of the products i have used in specifica before um, and I have done a review in the past regarding this within the last two-ish years. I know it's definitely after the pandemic and when things start opening up, like, slowly. However, I did kind of got a weird sensation. I would recommend you guys to take it off right away. I didn't get any reaction, but I did get the sensation of the feeling that there is a possibility that I might get, rea might get a reaction. Um, so in that case, because my skin is clear, alhamdulillah, however, um, just because like, I know that there is a possibility that when I use it again, that I am going to get a reaction, I will avoid using the product, nothing against it. Um, I would specifically recommend that you guys go ahead and use it and try it. Um, I would not say don't use it just because it's not saying well with my skin. Um, it is on the sensitive side and I know that I need to be very careful, even though I know in the last three years since the pandemic started, I've been using all different kind of products and I am assuming that that is partially the reason why. Um, I wouldn't say partially the reason why, but I feel like, um, I, I would say partially maybe because I'm just been using so many different products. But I think the main reason was that I did just, uh, do the photo facial back in November of 2021, even though I kind of was, I wasn't wholeheartedly wanted to do it. Um, a sensation told me it would be fine. Don't worry. Then they asked me if I wanted to do a couple more, like if I want to do a package, and then that's and then I declined. Luckily, I did. Um, but however, that's only was like on my cheek area, and I know that where I, I'm getting s s way more sensitive in other parts of my face as well, uh, because it was done on a small portion of my cheek and my chin. Um, so I think that has l little to do with how my skin is, but my skin is just getting worse with sensitivity. So I will personally not continue using this, but I will suggest that definitely to try it out because everybody's skin is different. Um, just because it is now officially not working for me anymore. Oh, well, it did work, but I know that I am going to get a reaction if I use it another once or twice at least. Um, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Now I have to start getting really picky on what products I'm going to use. Um, 
especially with the facial mask and the eye mask and stuff like that so other than that if you guys have extremely sensitive skin that you know that it may react to skin please do let me know in the comment section down below so i can try them out other than that i will be linking down below on my instagram pages make sure to follow hit the subscribe button the bell button and i'll be back for more stay safe and stay tuned guys